In the new world economy of rapid and dynamic change, there's a mounting concern over the effects of stress and uncertainty in our lives. In order to better cope with the accelerated pace of change, more and more people around the world are turning their attentions within in search of a simpler, more secure, and more human approach to modern times. Life Sciences is a series of intellectually stimulating magazine programs that explore the body, mind, spirit connection and its amazing potential for more powerfully integrated lifestyles. This visually engaging series will span the globe, bringing together the ideas of some of the world's most celebrated thinkers, healers, scientists, psychologists, and spiritual leaders. It's only through a change in consciousness that the world is going to be transformed, and, and consciousness is in us. And once we learn to become more in balance ourselves, to become more spiritually alert, to become more conscious of how we treat others and deal effectively with love rather than hatred in the world, we'll transform the entire planet. That's why programs such as this are so valuable and so important. Our aim is to give viewers practical ideas on how to live a healthier life with more personal power to better cope with the stress and physical challenges of living in this accelerated 21st century. Some of South Florida's biggest names hit Lincoln Road's Regal Cinema last night to explore their inner selves and the new inspirational film, Creating Destiny. So what did you think about the film? Uh, I thought it was wonderful. What a beautiful, positive message. And I just, I'm so proud of, of, of the way the that J.D. Freeman put the message together, his thoughts and, and his feelings, and put them together in a, in a film that is just so positive and beautiful. I think this film is incredible. I mean, he put so much into this film to make it. And it has such a great uh, positive message that we, we all need. July 16, 1945, the debut of the Atomic Age, Trinity Site, New Mexico. But what do we really know about this place? What was it before the bomb? The story begins during World War II when our government seized the Tularosa Valley from the ranchers. They came up there and said they wanted it for a bombing range. They would uh, move us off for right then. And then when the war was over, we could move back out there. They were all told, you're going to get your place back. That will happen. And of course, that never happened. They never got their place back. I've been in the United States Senate almost 18 years. This is the most inequitable, unfair situation that I've run into uh, in all that time. The hearing is adjourned. When you have to just relocate and, and have your home and everything taken away, well, it just destroys everything. In 1982, armed and dead serious, they entered the missile range illegally and reclaimed Dave's ranch. There are a lot of kids these days it's kind of unfortunate, you know, but as you know, we're living in some rough times, you know, and you get constantly picking up the paper, you're seeing negative things. You watch the news, you're seeing negative things, you know, and uh, God has blessed me with a great deal, you know. I know that I have the opportunity to, to try to create um, positive atmospheres for other people and to be able to, to touch other people in ways that it could only be uplifting.
But you have to understand what he has done for the community. Everybody loves him. Everybody's come out together to support this cause, and uh, it's a major step in the right direction. The reason I come is for Alonzo. Done a fantastic job from the start. So is what we choose, all right? Still a lot of room for improvement. I'm not really satisfied. I won't be satisfied until we raise at least a million dollars a year. Because you loved me